Hey, what's up guys? I'm really excited about this video. This is my first time ever hog fishing and I'm fishing with Bobby and in this video we're going to catch a lot of fish. We're going to catch hogfish, porgies, red grouper, black grouper. There's some things that I can't even identify. It's just a lot of action and we're fishing very subtle bottom structure uh, and a quick shout out to Real Florida Fishing Channel for putting us in the right area uh, but once we got out there we were able to find some subtle bottom structure using down imaging and our sonar and we're using uh, light tackle this is a 2-0 owner octopus style hook with a one to two ounce egg sinker so this is like a traditional knocker rig it's a very effective rig you fish it right on the bottom and uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to fillet this fish and cook it. This is really one of the best eating fish around. So check this video out. Hope you like it. Please subscribe to this channel and hit that like button. There we go. Got him. So this has slack water at 9 a.m. And we got here another what looks like some type of porgy or a grunt. They got those crazy blue, uh, see them blue, those blue lines? Yeah. Uh, yeah, see? Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Hopefully, some hogfish. When we were fishing the power plant, though, I had the, uh, just one of the days I... Guys, we're fishing in about 60 feet of water. And again, it's just very subtle bottom structure that you can find on the side imaging and down imaging and the sonar um and we are spot locked really having a trolling motor here is the best way to do this if you don't have a trolling motor then you do have to deal with anchoring in 60 feet of water but the current's not that strong so this is actually relatively um easy to fish in terms of anchoring and holding bottom they're just they're just like savage Oh, this guy's fighting good. Look at this. Oh, species. Hogfish. Nice. There we go. Hey, what is it, 14? That's a cool looking fish. Look at that. Look at that skin. It's like a sponge on the back. That is pretty freaking cool. Look at the teeth in that sucker, huh? Isn't that something? Yeah. Like that. Man. That's cool, dude. cool. Hell yeah. Look at the fins in that. That's a cool looking fish. That's what we want. I do have to say, the, these pliers are actually, they're, I know they're outrageously expensive, but they are actually really nice pliers. They're one of the things that they're expensive, but it's actually you're like, hey, you're in. nice. Here, let me let me just get in there. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever buy another pair of pliers. We're short. He got to be 14 to the fork, right? Mm -hmm. So he is uh, 12. We need a little bit bigger. That is one cool looking little fish there. Yeah, that's Isn't awesome. that? Come on, I want to catch one. What we'll do is wait. I'd like to get it's real into. That's what he does for a living. So. It's... Is he? He does, he, he does video editing and photography and like That's awesome. Stuff, Andrew's got a nice a nice camera. Here we go. Another I mean it is Dude, I'm literally kind of, I'm kind of like bummed this is taking me so long to do right now. Yeah. There we 
There we go. You could also, I got a light rod right there. You could use one of my light ones and just put a uh, egg sinker on it. This is not a hog. This is a, another one of these. I give you a better, better bite to the boat. Yeah, no, it was a good, good, good fight. These are awesome. These D hookers, highly, highly recommended. Heard about them? They've been around for a long time. But... Oh yeah, it's the simplest thing. Got him. I think this is a hog for sure. Feel like the, they hit it different. They just kind of, you feel a little tap, and then it's like the, you kind of lower the rod tip, and he just he just has it. Like they, I don't think they uh, they tap it like the other ones do. Then they kind of like just bend the rod and kind of pulsate. Yep, that's a hog. I knew it. I mean, cool looking fish. Look at the color of this thing. Look at that. What's up? That is such a cool looking fish. Darker one, that. that yeah, he's more red, a little bit brighter. I could just tell by the way he just picked it up and just ran you know he just it was like i was holding the rod like parallel to the water and i just he just pulled the rod down so i dropped the tip. it's like fishing an eel i dropped the rod tip to the water just to give him that three feet or whatever just to eat it and then man this is i think this is a keeper keeper hog i'm pretty sure yep no, it's a grouper. Get out of here. What the hell is that? It's a red grouper. We keep him, huh? First, uh... Yeah. The first, um... Tanner fish. That's a hog. He's all lit up too. He's all red. And I don't know if he's. Nah, I think he's short. Yeah. Red he is, man. Yeah, I was gonna say the ones cool. we got were kind of light colored. I mean, he's got some meat on him. He sucks. He's, looks like he's like he's like stout. He's like pinfish size, you know, or panfish almost. He's like uh, thirteen. Yeah. I think we're back on. They fight good for for they look the size, like, like you know. Geographic video, you know? Just like some yeah. coral reef and like that. I hope this is a big hog and not a red. Or a big red, that's a keeper. They ain't a little mine, one, dude. huh? This ain't a little fish. Oh, oh no! <laughs> the hook pull? I think, dude. Uh, oh. New species alert. Oh, I don't want to touch them. Uh, what is it? Mm, this looks like a ling or something. Yeah, it looks like a ling, but it's not. Man, he looks like he'd bite your finger off.
Must be a south pole link. Good one. And this spot over here is the freaking uh, hot spot now. All right, this is either a keeper hog or another grouper. Swimming out. Keeper hog. Yeah. Hey. That's what we want. Come here. Yes. I think that's a uh, winner, winner, chicken dinner, they say, right? I'm gonna rig you off my rod. I just went, you gotta switch to this rod. Um, look at that. That's definitely a keeper. Look, freaking, look at this fish. Yeah. 14. 14. The eyes and the <laughs> teeth in that sucker. Whoop, easy, buddy. Hey, yeah, that's a nice one. I'm pretty Me sure he's long guy. enough. Yeah. Good. We're on the hog bite. Yeah, that's 14, right? Yeah, easily. It's 15 or so. Yeah. Yeah, it's over 14. Oh. Yeah, probably 15. Let's yeah, I uh, imagine a bigger one of these, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Keeper, maybe. Maybe. The only thing with these, uh, it's like a, it's very like you know narrow, like small mesh. That's all. Like. I know. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I was, I didn't have my hopes set. Oh shit. So that's a hog. So I was like, I sent him back. I got the rod that we're using is a G Loomis E6 X eight. 43 SF inshore with a Shimano Stratic 4000 and 15 pound Power Pro Super Slick. You can find links to all the products in the video description below. Ah, oh, 15. Yeah, he's a 12 incher, a lot of 12 inches around. How these handles are being released. It seems I imagine pretty well. They look fine, yeah. That big one you got popped its eye out. You brought it up too quick. I have a needle, a deflating needle, but uh they are just super cool looking fish. They look like they're swimming down just fine. Yeah, they, but my idea of like bottom bit, like when I blackfish, like the idea is to get like a limit really quick. That's a hog. That was like the only hit you had too, right? I had a little nibble before that. And then that one, like you just kind of look at the rod, like, you know, you kind of have like a loose, like you kind of hold the rod loosely yeah. and you just see the tip. Like you just see the tip just started to get pulled down a little bit. Like and you know, he was. another one but he's uh shorty yeah this is really cool how they have that um that giant dorsal fin is super cool i wonder what it's for i mean some kind of like prey it doesn't feel like it's like that, like you know um I, you'll see here we ended up dropping a sardine down just trimming the tail off on the conventional rod 
and we ended up getting quite a few gag groupers and red groupers on the sardines, so that was uh, interesting. But the gag groupers were all let go because the season on is the closed. Sardine. Called it grouper. Gag. Sir, put a gag to me. Sir, it's a black or a gag. Uh, gag. Pretty sure that's gag. Oh, that might be black grouper actually. Yeah, I don't know how huge differences between the two, but uh, they do have some teeth yeah, on them, huh? Pretty cool. Cool looking little fish. Look at that. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. That is a, uh, we got a show going on for us. Yeah. Gag. What's that? What'd you say? Big jellyfish behind you. What was there? Another gag. Supposedly they have like incredible draw draw power. Yeah. Where's my uh my no there it is. See him. Going out? They got some gnarly teeth though. Funky looking fish. Hog. Pretty close. Not big enough, I could tell. Cool looking fish though, but. It's weird how they have like this like cancer like deformity on them at the bottom, but other than that. <sighs> He's uh, yeah. Twelve and a half. That's a hog. I'm pretty sure. See it? It's the first part of the fight is hard as hell, like unless you take a drag. But it's like they, they vibrate the rod, like they pulse the rod real yeah, rapidly. The others are doing that though, like the silver looking one moving its tail. Like. Yep, it's a hog. They're just not, he's just not as uh, big enough. They are weird how their scales are like that too. Isn't that weird? They're like raised, yeah. It's nasty. Huh. I wonder if that's actually like a growth. Yeah, yeah but they all have it, so I would almost say probably probably not. Uh, what do you do to fill up gas in Connecticut? There's a gas station? Yeah. It's a regular gas station. Uh, that's a good one. It's a little drag, right? Yeah. Yeah, just a regular gas station is good. Like you don't want to fill up. You don't want to fill, yeah, exactly. It's more money. Grouper. On the shrimp? Yeah, that, like the littlest, tiniest piece of shrimp. Would that would that be a keeper if it was open? No, it's got to be 24. For oh, my God. So you got to really get on some big grouper, huh? No, dude, we got them in short. The big ones? Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Fish.
It looks similar to sea bass meat, but it's a little bit um, firmer. I don't know. <laughs> I yeah, I think if you you could do um, roll an egg and then do like the egg with the uh, with pink, you know, and then and then uh, roll an egg and then panko, and I I'm pretty sure that would come out really good. What's that? No, no, there's no bones in it. And then people just leave them, huh? Yeah, I, Nuts. I think there's something to salvage. <laughs> you want to take? Hello, Caitlin. Hello. So we're cooking our hogfish today and tell us what we're gonna be doing. Okay, so we're gonna do tacos, and I already prepared the salsa. So this is light and healthy. It's tomatoes, scallion, mangoes, and I put in fresh lime juice and salt. I avoid the pepper because some people in my life can't have pepper or spicy things, mm -hmm. so that's the salsa. Excellent, looks great, and that's gonna be over the hogfish. Yes, and we're gonna do an avocado coconut cream sauce. It's gonna That's be what's bomb. in the blender here? Y yes. Look. Well, it's just the avocado okay. for now. I have to add the coconut milk. Great. Show us what you're doing. Um, I'm just adding coconut cream or crema de coco, an avocado to a blender. And we're gonna blend it up and make a nice light avocado cream sauce. Here's our hogfish fillets. Look at this meat. It's beautiful white meat, great texture, nice and firm. Uh, after we filleted them yesterday, um, we threw them in a bucket of salt water, then put them in a Ziploc bag. So right now, go through with a paper towel and pat them dry, okay? This is a good time to check, make sure there's no scales, nothing on there. Also, we notched out the lateral bone yesterday, but just make sure right now that there's no bones in there. I hate uh, if you're eating fish and you have a bone in there, there's a scale right there. Um, so check that. And also, you wanna pull your fillets out about 20 to 30 minutes before you start cooking. That's gonna give it the best sear. So we're adding some salt and paprika to our fillets on both sides. The pan is hot. What do we have for oil in there? Avocado oil. I wanted to use coconut, but I forgot to buy it, so this will do the trick. And avocado oil has a better a or a higher burn temperature. Yeah, so you don't want to use olive oil if you're cooking fish. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to let that cook, kind of wait until the sides start to turn white from clear, and then I'll flip it. Excellent. Let's wait and see. We just flipped the hogfish. It was starting to get white on the edges. And we got a nice golden brown sear on it. And it's ready. That was only a couple minutes. It does not take long to cook this fish. And you'll know it's done when you can. Well, it's gonna flake apart. And you could take a fork and you'll see it right there. It will just it flake. Yep. You'll know right away if it's if it's not done. It will still be 
raw inside. Right when you take it off the pan, you just want to squeeze some lime juice on. Now I'm just drizzling the avocado sauce. This is more for presentation. How does that look? Excellent. And it tastes good too. Add more of this afterwards and then I think what I'm gonna do for aesthetics is to cut the fish in smaller pieces and then place it on the wrap so I topped the fish with the salsa that I made earlier and then for garnish she used cilantro and then added a little lime circle at the end. Bon appetit. Finally, our hogfish tacos ready to eat. These look delicious. See the table. Caught these uh, less than 24 hours ago. If you like this video, subscribe to Real Cash Charters on YouTube. Thanks for watching.